up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how I edit my videos. A lot of you wanted to know how I edit my videos, so I decided I'm going to make a series. And uh, in the first episode today, I'm going to teach you how to use your own text or images or scribbles or anything in your videos. So let's get started. So what you need is a whiteboard and a pen. You could also use a piece of paper and a black pen. So I'm going to start off with writing my text. I'm going to write down Josh. You want to make sure you push as hard as you can because we need a true black and a true white so we get opposite colors. You could also draw anything you like. I'm going to draw a smiley face. After this, what you want to do is film your text. The way you film your text is the way it will end up overlaid on your final video. So first things first, uh, what we want to do is go to File, Import, Media. We're looking for a file that we already have on which we're going to overlay our text. So I'm going to go to Summer 2016 and look for the folder Dubrovnik. Where is it? Down here. And we want to find a clip that is not too white but it's a bit darker because when we overlay our text, it's going to be a white text. So when we overlay it, it's not going to be the best if it's a white image. So we want to find a bit of a darker image. Uh, let's see, this one works about right, we have nice blue tone in the back. So we want to drag that clip and put it into our timeline. Let me shorten this. So once we have it down there, I like to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make it uh, some slow motion. So we're going to go to here and then click automatic speed. And what that does is it puts it as slow motion as possible. So now that we have a longer clip to work with, uh, what we're going to do is look for the clip that we're going to overlay our text. So this is the overlay that I filmed. I'm going to drag it right on top of the clip, it doesn't matter where for now. Next step is we're going to go to the effects folder and we're going to look for tint. So just type in tint, you can't see it on the screen here but so you want to drag the tint onto the clip. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right, this right tab is open, click on that color and drag all the way to the right. And what that does is it makes the image black and white. And that's what we want. We want the blacks to be as black as possible and the whites to be as white as possible. Next we're going to type in Luma Key. It's also in the effects tab. We're going to drag it onto our text and what we're going to do first is in this right thing we're going to click this middle icon, matte. And then we're going to go to the matte tools, which are here. We're going to pull down that window. And basically, by dragging the black to the right, we make the blacks blacker. And by dragging the white to the left, we make the whites whiter. So now we have a pretty contrasty image. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We're going to invert the colors, make the blacks white and the whites black. So now we basically have, we're almost there. We have what we need. And now we're going to go to the blend mode and make it screen. And that's it. It basically removes the blacks and keeps the whites. We're gonna cut this down a bit just so we don't get that, the frame of the whiteboard. And that's it. There we have it. Let's just preview it. Put it more in the middle. Let's see. And there you go. That's the effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the next episode, so write down in the comments what you want me to cover, which editing techniques of mine, and uh, I'll be sure to do it. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon, and that was awesome.